Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I want to quickly talk about how to make a YouTube video. Uh, this is something that people have asked me. So I'll do a real quick one. So you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a camera. So it could be a webcam on your computer like I'm doing right now. You're going to need a microphone. So you could do like a headset or a microphone, an external microphone for your cell phone. So it could be a webcam or your cell phone. I record both ways. You are going to need a editing software. I'll leave a link in the description of what software I use. And there's like a discount code for it. Um, there is a free version. <clears throat> so you could go all the way up to 4K if you pay. Uh, so that's that's to edit your video. You're going to need a program or a, a website to create your thumbnails. That way you can create the thumbnail that is perfectly sized because uh, YouTube gets into uh, issues with the size of the thumbnails. You are going to need how to describe your video. Title, description, tags. Tags are important. You can either do hashtags or you can do it in the tag section and the YouTube uploader. Um, and music. So be careful with music if you're going to try to monetize your channel sometime be careful with music because if you don't own the rights or it's not a free one they may hit you regardless they could hit you if it's a song out there so I try to use uh, a website that's free free music it's just little music here and there I may change it because I don't like my my intro how to make an intro so that's gonna be either with the software that I have I made that's how I made my intro so you could do like pictures and do the intro or there's websites out there that create your intros for you so let's I'm going to change this and then I'm going to edit and do the process with you on how I edit and do that for a YouTube video so I'll be back alright so let's talk about what we need to make some of these videos so what I have is a microphone with an attachment for your cell phone and it also brought a attachment for your camera so if you have a camera uh, for camera I don't have a camera I have a cell phone so you can use a cell phone uh, as I mentioned I recommend something to hold your camera so it's not shaking so I put this like in a bucket I do s depends on what type of videos you make I also have a gimbal that is a steady gimbal, so we'll hold it, you know, be steady. Uh, things about lighting, make sure you do it with natural light at the beginning if you can afford and buy the, uh, the LED lights or the floodlights, they go ahead and buy those, but I, I don't want to buy those yet. Um, so those are things that I use. You can use just natural lighting, make sure you look at it. When using your cell phone, what I recommend doing is putting it on airplane mode. That way there's no messages getting in and canceling your recording. It's happened to me in the past, so just a, a tip or advice. Uh, I do a reboot. I clean the lens. I put it on airplane mode. That way it's nice and fresh. I set up my camera to the highest resolution I can possibly do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to do an unboxing of a steelbook. That's what my channel is about. I'm going to do that. I'm going to then come back and show you how I start editing that stuff. But I want to quickly just go over the items I use. Um, obviously, on the computer, I use this. I could use my microphone. Um, I have used it in the past, but it's just inconvenient. All right, so let's get to... I'll do the unboxing. So if you want to watch that, you can watch it later on. And then I'll be back. I'll be in a different mode. I'll, I'll be like around here somewhere all right all right guys so we are back this is how I am going to record hi how I am going to edit and all that so the first thing I'm using this web uh, this software called Bandicam. that's how I am recording so that's one part if you're going to do some videos you might want to do this if you're doing it off your computer because it records your computer like so Whoa, something almost fell over here. And that's my little baby boy. So 
All right, so that's how I record. So that's how I'm recording what I am doing on the computer. So first thing, I did an unboxing of this steelbook. I recorded the unboxing on this cell phone. So now I am going to connect my cell phone to my computer and I'm going to offload the file. So I have a little short cable. This is a type C and it's going to be connected to my PC. And then it's going to show up. I, I, I heard a sound. So I'm going to open a folder. Uh, you know what? Sometimes on your phone, you're going to have to tell it to allow for the connection. So let me see. I'm going to system Android USB and then transfer. All right. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. So I'm going to allow it, allow it to be controlled. Let's see. Why is it not letting me? All right. So let's see if that works. So I should be seeing it here. Galaxy A51. All right. So let me, oh, I can't move that. Yes, I can. So I put these files on a folder on my desktop. There it is. New folder. Oh, it opened over here. So there it is. Now I'm going to search for in my camera. I don't want to show you all my pictures in my camera. They're mainly baby pictures. Uh, there it is. So we're going to highlight them, click and drag them to your desktop. So they're going to get dragged. It's going to take a little bit of a time. So in the meantime, I could talk about something else. On your camera, on your cell phone, you want to make sure you have it either at the highest resolution possible that you can. Also, make sure that you know what frame rate it is. All right. I work a lot with 30 frames per second. There's differences, anything. I don't want, I don't know too much about it, but that's what works for me. Sometimes it doesn't work uh, at all. Problem is some cell phones do not record at the specific frame rate that the program wants to work at. So for example, I was getting, uh, my software was trying to edit the video at 30 frames per second. My, my video was recorded at 24, 23 frames per second. And my voice wasn't matching with the video at some point. And you can see in some of my earlier videos. So I try to have them where they're going to match perfectly. And if they don't match perfectly, I use this software iframe. You can see it here. Let's open this. That doesn't need to be there. All right, there you go. So this is going to convert it to the rate that you want. And you, we can see, we could click and drag a file once it already uploaded. And you see it says 30.01. So that's fine for me. But sometimes it'll say 24 or something weird. So you just let, right click on the, the frame rate and you could change it. And then you convert it and then you're gonna use that result, the file that came out of this. And that's what you're going to edit. So now that is done transferring. So that is if you're your voice and your video doesn't match up. I use iframe converter. Why? Because that works with this program. The light works. That's what I use to edit my videos. So let me close this. Because my computer is not a new computer. So it's going to take uh, a lot of CPU power to run this program at 4K. And I tried to make it at 4K because that looks the best on any device. So here are my, my previous videos, all right? And this is really simple. I'm not doing any crazy um, editing or stuff like that. This is just simple editing. I'm gonna show you, then you could get into other tutorials of this specific software. So I'm matching this software, Lightworks, with iFrame to help you with the conversion. That way they're in like the, the same ecosystem. This is easy. Create a new one. I'm going to I'm going to put Fast and Furious. All right. So Fast and Furious. Did I spell that right? Choose. So the, here's the mix rates and all that. I don't mess with that. I just go straight to 30 because that's what the phone is near at. Create. Now I am here. So what I do is I'm going to introduce my first file, which is my intro. 
Oh, and it's there you go. Import. All right, so I just have to move that a little bit. So I imported the file. That's my intro. Then I'm going to click and drag from the folder, the, the one that you either converted or the one straight from your phone. Boom, it's there. All right, so both files are there. Now I'm going to create a new sequence and you'll see it on the bottom here. So that's the sequence here. All right. Now, if you click here, oh, where did my sequence go? So what I'm going to have to do is move this because I'm I'm kind of I can't even move myself around. So let me try to move it so I can see that. There you go. So that's the sequence. This usually it's down here. You can put it down here, but I can't see it because I'm I'm right there. So right there. That's that's the preview of that. So I'm going to grab my season three. That's my intro. And you see it's just a, a little sliver. Click it there. And then that's the preview of this sequence that you're creating. Then I'm going to grab the file there. And then I'm going to close it off with the sequence. Not the sequence. Nope. We're going to close it off with the season three. There you go. So I'm going to click that, put it there. So you see it kind of snaps to it. Bam. All right. So now that's cool. So that's the season. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can all see it. Usually I have this completely maximized. Oh, come on. That's not what I wanted. I just want you to move there. I want you to move a little bit there so I can just click. You can scroll with the, win the, the mouse wheel and it'll go to the end. So then what I do is I try to listen and see. All right. So I start we'll continue it. video. So we are going to. It, it, there's like a long run and I don't like that gap. So I edit it out. And usually what I do is my videos are really simple. I try to not uh, make them really difficult so I don't have to be editing, 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 editing. I, I'm not good at that yet. So I do them in one shot, especially unboxings. You don't have too much of a, of a thing. So you can see here, right there, that there's no sound waves. So I'm going to grab this blue marker. I'm going to mark it there where my red marker was. I'm going to scroll my wheel to that part. I'm going to put the other blue thing and then this one, delete mark section. The blue parts are going to mark that interior section. I'm going to click it and it's gone. So boom, that's gone. So now that's it. That's it for my video. I know that I did it in one shot, all that. I don't have, uh, my face is not showing. So I don't care about that little tiny 0.01. If my face was showing, then sometimes, yeah, it's completely gone. Or I'm doing a really long video. Then at the end of the video, whatever I'm talking, it doesn't match with whatever I'm doing. So then, but I know this one's okay. It's a short video. You right click on the sequence, sequence number one. Export. YouTube. And then I have the paid version. So I could do all the way to 4K. Uh, the non-paid is going to be 1080p, so that's your choice. Uh, if you want to do the paid version, uh, in the link in the description, there's a 30% off code that you can use for this specific software. So then, 30 frames per second, 2160, ignore leading, I leave it like that, upload, I don't do that because I want it to load onto my computer and then I'll go, I don't want to grant anybody's you know, somebody can hack it or something. I place the file somewhere else where it's not your source file. So if your video and your in intro are in the C drive, make sure you put the resulting extracted file onto a different drive. Don't put them in the same drive. They, it causes issues. Um, yeah, make sure you put them on the same drive. So then I'm just going to name it Fast and Furioso. Furioso. I can't even spell Furioso. There you go. Fast and Furioso. All right. Start. That's going to take a while because my computer is old. <laughs> my CPU is right now kicking me because one, I'm recording with this and then I'm trying to do that and all that stuff. But I'll just let it sit there and then I'll, I'll shut everything down. Um, you could see it. 
on the bottom here, kind of, you can see the logo and it's starting to, to get to it. All right, so that's one part. Now, the second part is the thumbnail. Uh, the thumbnails, I go to this website, Canva, so I recommend it. It's, it's a free one. And let's see, am I already logged in? I think so. All right, so let's see. All your designs. So here's my, you can see here's my uh, YouTube background thing. You can do the background. These are the thumbnails. So usually I just go in here. I put the, when I'm unboxing, so let's say unboxing, what's this called? Hobbs and Shaw, Hobbs, uh, where is it? I can't find it. Why can't I find it, Hobbs and Shaw? All right, now your thumbnail, that's up to you how you want to do it. There's, there's templates over here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. This website is really cool. So uh, uh, unboxing Hobbs and Shaw, then I go to, oh, let's see here because I, I'm in the way, uploads. Then what I do, that's where my pictures are. I grab the picture that I took of what I just did. I upload it. That should be quick. It should be already done. Then I snap it onto the background here. Well, it's not done yet. So I could delete that one. And because my, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff, this is, there you go, taking a while. Usually it just snaps and it doesn't want to do it. You, you, oh, oh, there it goes. Bam. So you can adjust it. You can do all, all kinds of stuff. You can move it there. Done. All right, so it's done. You see, it's simple. I, I don't make it too too difficult on myself. Now, eventually, I'm, I'm going to start doing it a little bit more creative, give it more art give it more pizzazz but right now that's good for me I'm gonna click download preparing your design it's gonna be downloaded and I'm done here so I could close this now it's in my downloaded for folder all right so meantime uh, YouTube uh, the lightworks is getting extracted then we are looking at this and we are all good to go. I'm just going to wait for this to download. That ex ex uh, that done file, that formatted file, that video. Once it's done, Lightworks will shoot you here a message saying it's already done, extracted. You want to open the folder, you click open that. Then you go to your YouTube, you paste it in there. So let's look at the YouTube page. How would that look? So let's go to YouTube. And it's going to take a while. Wow. Yeah, my computer is just kicking me. So you click here, upload video. It's going to shoot you a new little sub window here. Yeah, <laughs> my system. All right. Click and drag, and then you just fill in the blanks. So you fill in the description. You fill in the title, you the thumbnail, the one that we just downloaded from Canva. You put it on your thumbnail. That's going to be what shoots up. If you don't put it, it uh, YouTube is just going to choose a frame from your video. I don't like that. So I put it there with the title. That's where I prefer. Give some links, fill in the rest, and upload it. Wait a little bit because once it's uploaded, it still has to process. So... If you put it right away, it's just going to be standard definition at 480. Just wait, wait like an hour, and then it'll be like HD and then 4K. So I'll be patient, and then once that is done, you can share it away. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, shoot me a message in the comments. Check out the description links, and see you on the next one. Good luck, guys.